Pokemon Week 2 uh, Game Walkthrough. And this is going to be showing off my uh, little Frogger 5.0 whatever uh, project. Uh, you don't understand why it's going to be Frogger in a second. So here we are with the uh, first level, which I'll be adding on uh, more into the next week because I uh, kind of want to keep it fresh for each level. So right now the example map was converted into a large uh, main map for uh, coin collecting or the uh, fruit collecting. Now we have little cherries down here. Uh, then we got bananas, what else, uh, melons, uh, I have some kiwis, oh, and we got the kiwis right there, they kind of look like something else besides the kiwi, but uh, we have this little trophy uh, right now, I decided to keep it as the static, but I'm working on this right now, I'm trying to get this to go up and down, not sure why, but we're gonna find out in a little bit. Um, Maybe next this week coming up. Figure out why it doesn't want to uh, change, but we'll go through it right now. Here's a simulation. And the music was added into the background, and here I'll demonstrate all the working levels together. Here I clear I define this a little bit so that way it's not so hard to distinguish where to go. A little path going down over here. And all these are working. And I timed this one out so that way it was always a little higher, so the player would always have to jump on this or try to convert and do a super jump based on these platforms. Uh, I will be adding in a different feature right now, and later probably, but I'm not positive, I'm still debating it, because I do like how when characters are on these platforms and they're going up or in the direction, it gives them a little bit more of a challenge to control a jump, because it launches the character into the air. And it's kind of a, uh, a bug that I started to enjoy and decided to allow and designed it around that. So we're gonna stop this and we're gonna go right into it. Start the starting point. There's a jumble jump feature that was added with the flipbook animation. This trophy I have placed here for a demonstration. So we're gonna get that into a second. We got fruit collecting which adds to the point score and adds a little bit more extra time to try to get around the map based on how many you collect and as you get higher up into the map it'll get a little bit more difficult if you don't get all the fruit on the bottom because it doesn't add much time This is where I had said about that little puzzle. Um, the little trick I did was I converted, I took a scene from the right viewpoint and went into perspective and slid these back a little bit to compensate. That's the jump I was talking about. And that's since I got a bunch of time on that one, um, I'm going to demonstrate what this trophy does right now. And there, that's the finish. It'll take you back to the starting point and give you the game over screen. The time will continue to go down. Um, I'm going to be working on a new clock system because I copied that and copied and had to change it up 
on here to make it work so that way it wouldn't uh, be dependent on uh, what was it? the feature that they did in the walkthrough. Uh, decided to try to copy it all over and see if I couldn't add it in, but it caused errors and completely gutted the screen, so I had to change that up. But if, when you walk around, and uh, if I can find some fruit, I'm going to show you that the uh, collection is disabled based on that game being over. That way, I can show you that it doesn't do it. Everything becomes inactive, but the player can still walk around. I thought that was kind of cool. It gave them the chance to try to figure out a way around this puzzle. Um, there's certain things that you can and can't do. Um, but this is the uh, walkthrough, and I hope it turned out pretty nice. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks.